This is Red Feather from Grep Hacks. In this Cadian Live video, we will be showing you how to create a timer using the Cadian Live generator's counter. Also, I would like to point out I'm using Cadian Live as the recording device while producing this video. Notice the three clips in the project bin window that all say MLT at the end. I created these earlier and used them at the beginning of this Cadian Live production. If you are interested in learning how to quad or split screen in Cadian Live, please see my prior videos labeled as such or ask a question. In the project bin of Cadian Live, click the drop down arrow, scroll down to generators, scroll over and click counter. Once you click counter in Cadian Live, a timer or rather counter window will appear. Notice the counter says 10. If you wish it to stay at this mark, you must first change the duration. You can change the Cadian Live duration to what you would like, but for the purpose of this video, we will stay with 10. So highlight the number you wish to change and adjust it. Once you have finished this in the Cadian Live counter, it is time to adjust counter style. Click the drop down arrow labeled counter style. As you can see, there are a couple of different styles to pick from in this Cadian Live counter. Notice second to zero bumps you to start count at nine as some of the others do as well. Once you have chosen your style, you could then decide if you would like to remove the Katie Live counter background. Also, you can make the counter count up instead of down or add some sound effects if you so desire in this Cadian Live counter by clicking the sound drop down arrow and or putting a check mark in the box. I will let you discover this one on your own. Once you are happy with your settings in the lower right of the Cadian Live counter window, click OK. This will bring up a save option window. In order to use this feature of Cadian Live, the counter requires a name. For example, I could just call it M and then save it. But if you do not name it and hit cancel, it will return an in invalid result, as you can see. Once given a proper name in Cadian Live, it will save to wherever it is directed to mine in the Cadian Live folder and then automatically places a copy in the project bin of Cadian Live for use. This gives you the opportunity to reuse the counter at a later date without having to recreate the counter again. I hope you have enjoyed this Cadian Live video and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? I mean, after all, it is free. The second intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu one from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.